So thanks to Caspa's insane profitability, GPU mining finally became profitable once again, alongside Nexa, obviously, but Nexa has not been as popular as Caspa lately. Now, Caspa just got a new introduction to the Zellcore wallet, which makes this coin way easier to hold because their old wallets, they were kind of trash. Also, Unminable just released Caspa on their website. So now I can use my Jazzminer X41U and my X4Q that's actually under my desk right now and mine straight to Caspa. So let's get into the video, but just before we do that, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Muskminers.com. They provide a wide range of cryptocurrency services such as hassle-free server hosting, consulting, and competitive crypto mining hardware from all of the top profitable miners on the market currently. Musk Miners has been operating in the mining business since early 2017. They have now been professionally selling ASIC miners for more than two years and are 100% US based. Please go check out muskminers.com for all of your crypto mining needs. So I'm going to assume a lot of you guys already know what Zellcore is. It's the Flux native wallet. Basically, it's a separate company, but they are still intertwined where this is their main wallet and they are part of the Flux ecosystem right now. Zellcore is a desktop and a mobile wallet, which makes things super easy compared to the web-based wallet that Caspi used to offer, as well as the core wallet, which is just total trash. So if we look right here, you can see Zellcore. This is the main page website. Let me just full screen this for you. Over here on their Twitter, Caspa has been now joined on the Zellcore network. It says new asset listing. Caspa joins the Zellcore network. It says the Zellcore family say hello to your new asset, Caspa. Caspa is a seriously fast, open source, decentralized, fully scalable layer one. It is a proof of work powerhouse and the first block DAG. Super excited. It just says let's welcome Caspa cryptocurrency to Zellcore the right way. It's amazing. I'm super excited about this. And in the midst of checking this out, I came across Unminable and noticed that they just released Caspa over here on Unminable as well. So I'm super pumped about this. I can't wait to get my Jazz Miners on this because I don't hold any Caspa. Now that they have a new wallet inside Zellcore, I'm pumped. So I just actually got my X41U switched over and I just switched over my X4Q. I'm just waiting for it to actually boot up in the software because it takes like a half hour. But Anyways, this is going to just completely change the game when it comes to getting that bag of Caspa. Now, I'll show you guys how to do this real quick. Coming over to the Jazz Miner here. If you go to Miner, you can see right here you have to put in for this is an ETC hash algorithm. Now, you can do script mining as well. You could do this with the mini doges or the mini ipolos, whatever you want to do. Those little box miners, you can do this. You just have to change the ETC hash to script, right? Just before unminable.com colon 3333 so now right here at the worker you're gonna see it says kas in capitals and a colon that's what you need to have from unminable now the caspa receiving address i noticed is a little different it actually has the word caspa fully in here as well as a colon and i was kind of concerned that it wasn't going to work right but it actually works just fine and that is your receiving address so the caspa and the colon is actually a part of your entire receiving address when you copy it from zellcore which is pretty cool then you just do a period you name the rig then you could do a pound sign and a referral code if you guys are interested if you use a referral code over here on unminable just go to referral right here so if you share your referral code you actually get 0.25 percent of your referrals mining rewards and you can actually use your own referral code so Use your own. I am using my own at this current moment. I don't know anybody else that has a Caspa referral code, but I think you can use a bunch of different referrals if I'm not mistaken. It doesn't matter. It could be a Bitcoin one. It could be anything, right? As far as I know, that's how Mineable works, but use your own. Totally, highly recommend it. If you use mine, I appreciate it. You don't have to, not necessary. Anyways, looking over here, this is the Caspa home. If you guys want to go over the Caspa overview, I've had a couple of videos reading about this and kind of going over Caspa, but I do need to do a personal deep dive this is just a great project in general, and they're doing great things. I've heard nothing but good things. I really wish I was into it a bit earlier, but apparently I've uh, lacked on that aspect, and that's quite unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, real quick, I actually do want to show you the wallet here. Now, this is the web-based wallet, okay? This is not something I'm a fan of. When you have to have your wallet online, it just it sketches me out. Even though you have a seed phrase and the pri private keys, whatever, it's still online. Like that's a hot wallet. People can hack into that. They can get your stuff, right? So you can see right here, it says get the latest wallets. 
This is the Casper web slash mobile wallet. I didn't know it had a mobile wallet. It says uh, the web wallet, regardless. I knew about that one and I knew about this command line wallet. Obviously, Zelcor, this wallet was actually just dropped today at the time of recording. So it's not here on this sheet right now, but I'm sure Zelcor will be added to this list after the fact. And I'm hoping that a lot of you guys choose to use Zelcor over these other ones. I'm not sure what this other desktop wallet is. I think this is their own wallet, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, I'm just all set with core wallets, command line wallets, web-based wallets. It's just that stuff's not for me, and I want you guys to be safe. But overall, man, Casp has been absolutely killing it. Like, look at this. It's up 90.7%. This is on the week. Just today alone, we're up 5.8%. The month, we're up 157% percent the year it actually goes away but it, it's just it's astronomical it takes over the entire like page here on crypto bubbles so shout out to casper i mean the team's doing great clearly and uh yeah it's unfortunate that i wasn't a part of it prior to this now let's check right here this is hashrate.no if you guys haven't seen this website it's actually fantastic now they have all the most profitable coins that pop up here next to the gpus that you may have right so Dynex has been on the top of the list recently. So as Nexa, Radiant was here, right here. RXD and Caspa was actually all over the place right before I started recording this video, but now it's going to make me look like a liar. So between Caspa, Nexa, Radiant, and Dynex, it looks like those are really the four top coins right now that are mineable for GPUs anyways. So hopefully you guys are enjoying these profits because this is just, it's absolutely crazy. I'm more excited that caspa is now on unminable this is just a huge win for me personally because all my asic miners that i really don't want to mine etc with i mean technically it is mining etc and it's converting in the background to caspa but that just saves my butt and it makes my life so much easier getting caspa paid directly to my wallet and i just have these machines on and running but with that being said you do need to understand that unminable does take a fee and i want to make sure that they're actually paying out what they are supposed to be paying out because we did uh, catch them doing a little more than it should have been done, but I think something was wrong and I think it's been fixed since then. That's what I gather anyways from that entire story, but I made a video, Mr. Seb Fintech made another video as well. So if you guys wanna go check that out, please feel free if you're skeptical at all about Unminable. I think they're a pretty good team and they do a great job to be honest. I have nothing against them. So Caspa, I'm gonna be mining through Unminable with my Jazz Miners. So let's look at my Jazz Miner X41U real quick. You can see right here, it is connected. It says 570 mega hashes, average 590. This is the uh, wallet and you know how you're supposed to put it in. So that's awesome. If you look at Unminable, we'll go to workers and you can see that it's registering. Let me refresh this. The X4Q has not popped up yet, but that is on the brinks of working itself. It's doing that like 25 minute to a half hour uh, warm up session before it gets to the actual mining but whatever nonetheless let's check out my zelcor wallet real quick i just want to show you guys down here on the bottom left it shows caspa if you guys don't have this on your wallet yet make sure you guys go and update the wallet so when you go to close the wallet down it will actually tell you that it'll be updated on the next restart mine wouldn't stop saying failed to update up on the top okay so what I did was I went to the actual web page where you can get Zellcore right here. And I chose Windows because that's what I'm downloading the, or that's what I have it downloaded on anyways. So click on that. It'll download the file back to your desktop. When you open that file up, it will reinstall it over the old Zellcore wallet. And you should have no problem opening it up. And you guys might notice if you haven't used it in a while, it does look a bit different because I haven't used it since this new update look. So if you want to add Caspa to your wallet, I just went to a different one that I have right here. I'm going to click add asset. And then I'm just going to write in the search bar up here, type in Caspa. And there it is. Click on it. Now it says Caspa has been added to your portfolio. Click close. And there it is. And if you can't see Caspa on your, uh, your, you know, in your wallet, click right here and it says show zero sum. And then it will open up the coins that you have zero or the wallets that you have zero coins in rather. And then you can just click on it, find your receiving address, whatever, sending address. Hopefully you guys understand it. But either way, sorry for rambling on in this video. I'm just super pumped that I can finally now mine Caspa with machines that I have in my house that are efficient. I can run them off solar. I'm pumped about it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. So that's it. It's going to do it. Just a quick short video for you guys. If you need any more help, I do have a complete walkthrough guide 
on Unminable. Please go check it out. I'll leave a link above. If you guys are interested, feel free to watch it. If not, it is what it is. Ask questions down below or join Misfit Mining Discord. We can always help you out there. Until next time, guys, have a good day, and I'll see you soon. Peace.